Eamon Holmes believes a legal battle over an unexpected £250,000 tax demand caused a shingles attack that could have left him blind. The TV host said the virus hit him so hard it looked as if someone had taken a baseball bat to my face. Now Eamon and Strictly Come Dancing star James Jordan, who admit to a bit of a bromance, are running a campaign about the illness ahead of Shingles Awareness Week. Both believe their infection with the debilitating disease, which lays dormant in the body of anyone who has had chicken pox, was caused by being run down. Eamon, 63, was left unable to work and believes the stress of his tax case was a trigger. He received the bill in 2018, shortly before catching shingles. He immediately launched a case to dispute it, arguing he was freelance when presenting this morning. But in a 2020 ruling a tribunal found he counted as an ITV employee for tax purposes. The tax hearing was the most stressful experience outside of losing my father, the GB News Breakfast presenter said. The case is still ongoing, with Holmes now appealing against the ruling. He said, I was like a lamb to the slaughter, it was the most stressful, humiliating experience. His shingles attack in 2018 two weeks before his eldest son Declan's wedding, came shortly after the tax dispute arose, he said. I jumped back when I looked at myself in the mirror. I thought, where the hell did that come from? Describing the illness he said, it was bloody scary to see it. It looked as if someone had taken a baseball bat to my face and smashed me about a bit. He went on, blindness could have been a complication in my case. The doctor said it's really bad for you because it's around your eyes, and could be bad for your ophthalmic nerves. Medically, it was pretty serious. Eamon urged any shingles sufferer to contact a medical professional within 72 hours. I think that's your first port of call really. If you've got access to a doctor, go and see them or some sort of health professional. He explained, the closest I'd had to something like this would be like a cold sore blister on my lip. But then this was like, whoa. This was all over my face and around my eye and it was pretty sobering. His treatment was straightforward. He said, explaining, they put me on a course of antibiotics and ointments. I could have imagined my mother putting on something like bicarbonate soda, baking soda or making a solution. They always had kitchen remedies for things, hadn't they? I also remember going to the chemist shop. They had an apothecary, a science lab in the back of the chemist shop. They would literally make you a solution. You didn't buy tubes of ointment. They made it up for you. Strictly's James Jordan was on holiday last October when he spotted the sores around his middle which he thought was sunburn. He revealed, I got mine on the left hand side, roughly on my belt line. But that is the whole reason we are doing this campaign is to raise awareness. So if anyone is to get it, they're a little bit more clued up and they can lessen to the symptoms that myself and Eamon have had. And they can get straight to their GP and maybe get some help. Eamon was fortunate enough that he was able to go straight to his doctor and get diagnosed. I was in Abu Dhabi with my family and I didn't really know what it was. It was my mom who said, I think you've got shingles. It wasn't till I got home, a week later, that I went to the doctors because I was still getting this pain from it. 
his doctor said it was important to visit a surgery as soon as possible. She took one look at it and went, yes, shingles. And I went, is there anything I can do for it now because it's still quite painful? And that's when she said you need to get to us within the first 72 hours. I was fortunate in that, although mine was quite painful, it was in a place where I can hide it. So no one would have known. I would say just be aware of the symptoms and get yourself to the doctors as soon as possible. James cites the death of his father for making him run down. He said, we lost my dad. I was in a really bad place and struggled with it for a long time. I just said, come on. Let's get away and let's just go and relax. And I think by that time, it was probably already there. It sits dormant in your system and waits for a time like that. He added, on the positive side, neither of us have suffered any long-term effects, but it can happen, such as nerve damage. Eamon and James admit to a close friendship. We're good mates, you know, said Eamon. It's a bit of a bromance, a mutual respect club. I saw him talking about things, expressing opinions and we got talking. James added, I've looked up to Eamon for a long time and yeah, we've got close and I trust his opinions. I like his honesty. That's something that I always strive to do. You know, people might not always get my bluntness and my humor, but I pride myself on being honest and that's why I think we get on so well because we're both brutally honest. Shingles Awareness Week runs from February 27th to March 5th with this year's theme Shingles Could Pause the Life You Love. Understanding Shingles is a campaign by GSK supported by Yemen Holmes and James Jordan in partnership with the International Federation on Aging, the Shingles Support Society and Age UK. Visit Understanding Shingles Co.UK symptoms of shingles also known as herpes zoster, shingles is a disease that presents as a painful rash. The first signs can be a tingling or painful feeling in an area of skin, a headache or feeling generally unwell. Typically, a blistering rash may appear a few days later, on one side of the body only. It most commonly appears on the chest or abdomen, but can appear anywhere on the body including the face. It can take up to four weeks for the rash to heal. Usually symptoms improve within weeks. However, some patients suffer prolonged pain or other complications, 